everyone, and welcome back to Monday's Nail of the Week. Excited to share another nail design with you guys, and I love this one. Wait till you see what I did this time. Check this out. Aren't those cool bandana nails? Oh my gosh, there is such fun things that you can do with nail art. Never did I imagine I could do bandana though. I did get a little bit nervous about this one, but I had so much fun. And while I was doing it, I did do just the red and white look on the red nails and then on the black nails, I did black and white. When you see a bandana, Black and white bandanas are always just black and white. But whenever you get a colored one, I guess they always have black in it too. I didn't know that. So the red nails weren't looking right. But now you see, uh, and you know, in the video, you'll see what I'm talking about because you'll see them just the, with the white. And then you see, you guys just got to see it with the black on there. I don't know. It just really made the design when I added the black in on the red. I love it. And of course, you can probably guess what my next outfit is going to be. Sure, it's gonna be something to do with bandanas. And I'm excited to show you guys. It is more of a casual look, and I am making part of the outfit for Fashion Friday. I make clothes, and I'm making part of this outfit. I can't wait to share it with you guys and talk about it. Like, it's unbelievable that I can make this outfit and use this as an outfit. Like, you'll know when I talk about it on Fashion Friday. I'm just super, super stoked about it. But anyways, I can't wait to share the toe design with you guys on Wednesday. And then, like I said, Fashion Friday's outfit of the day. Bandanas, you guys. I love it. If you are new to my channel, hit that big red subscribe button right there. Hit the notification bell so you are notified of all of my uploads since I teach keto. And also share my channel because I teach keto. And I want to grow and help the whole world get their life back. And definitely shoot me a Thumbs up if you enjoyed this bandana nail look. Let's get started on today's design. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hey, everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's summer look. A beautiful bandana done in red, black, and white. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Nail of the Week. Doing another beautiful summer look. As you see here, I've got most of them done red and two black accent nails. I'm going to be doing a bandana look. Never done it, so I hope I'm able to do it. I am pretty talented. Um, but I'm a little bit nervous because bandanas have a lot of art to them. So we'll see what happens. But I am going to matte finish this because a bandana it looks more matte. And I might use a little bit of Northern Lights. Let me go over and show you what I've used so far and what I'm going to use. So for the red nails, I used this one. I just got it the other day at Dollar Tree. It's LA Colors and it is called Snappy. It's a really beautiful red, like a cherry red. Actually, it's more like a candy apple red. That's what I would say, more candy apple red. And then the black, I'm using the Kiss, also from the Dollar Tree, and this one's just called Express. That's on the black nails. And then I used this to dry it up, the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. And then, of course, um, after I... Well, first, I'm going to work with acrylic paint, just white. That's all I'm going to use is the white for the um, look of the bandana. I believe it is a white look. And then I'm going to, I might have to use black too, I'm not sure. If I use black, it'll be a black acrylic too. And then of course my Northern Lights, I might put a coat of that over that. If you shake it up, it gives it that beautiful hollow. And then I will be drying it with a sesh feet to smooth everything down. And then I'm gonna matte finish with the OPI matte top coat also from Sally's. I will be using this brush, the wand from robinmosesnailart.com called the wand. There's the tip, I will clean it off. It's dirty right now, I keep it dirty in between to keep the red sable hair good. And I think that's it. Here is a bandana right here. I'm gonna try to go off a of print here. See, there's different looks, but when you open it, there's so many different things to a bandana. So I'm gonna figure this out. This is a white bandana, that's why it's done with the black. Of course, I'm doing it on red and black, so I'm going to be doing it uh, with the white. And I'm gonna look just to make sure that there's no 
I wouldn't think there's any color like in a black one. You couldn't have black. And in a red look, I don't think you could have black either. I think it'd be white. So I believe I'll be using all white. I am going to look at another bandana to make sure though. But anyways, I'm going to get started on some of them and I will return to show you. All right, it is turning out fantastic. I was a little bit nervous, but I do love the way they are turning out. And just to play it safe, after I did one nail, I went upstairs and asked my brother, not a woman, I asked my brother Rob, I said, what am I trying to recreate here? And he said, bandana. He knew immediately. So I must got it down right because he knew immediately. I'm like, "Are you? did you hear me say that? He goes, no, I had no idea you were doing it because I'm down in the basement. He was outside, so he did not hear what I was doing. But when I went out and just held out a hand, I said, just real quick, I said, don't anybody say anything. I looked at my brother and I said, what am I trying to recreate? And he said, a bandana. He knew right away. So it's turning out great. I do like it. I'm very pleased with it. So I'll show you how I'm doing this. I did leave one finger open. Each one is done just a little bit different, but I'll kind of show you how I'm doing it. So I'm going to do just, I'm just taking designs from the print itself. So what I'm going to do is dip into the white here and I'm going to do, I'm going to start down here and I'm going to do one of these ones. I like these ones. These ones are the ones that look the most like the bandanas where you come around like that, close it off, and then just do these little tiny lines going around. That one really seems to be prominent on a bandana. So I'm going to make sure that I do this look, just putting the lines around. And then I'm going to add a couple dots just around that. Then I'm going to do a, this, like a, kind of like a flower it kind of goes like in a in a line so I'm gonna go like this and let's see wipe some of this off here all right I'm gonna do a little line coming up like that like it's a stem then off the stem I'm just gonna add a couple of dots because I'm looking at the print and this is what it looks like it's like the leaves and I'm just setting the brush down to get these leaves just setting it down to get that print then at the very top of it, I'm going to do a flower that is kind of closed in. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, almost like a star, five. Because there are prints like that where the flower is on there. Okay. And then I'm going to do a couple of kind of leaf-like. I'm going to go like this and just come to a point. Do the same thing over here. I'll come up with this one though. Just come to the side here, set it down, go up and to the side and kind of give a little point like that. And then over here, I think I'll just do a couple more little dots. And then down in here, I'm gonna do a V because there's like a V look too. I'm gonna do it like that and then come off the V with just some dots like coming right off this V here and put a dot right in the center there. There you go. I guess doing a bandana wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I really thought it was gonna be hard, but it does look great. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna line up a bandana here, and you can see the prints that I've done. See how I've copied some of the prints there, some of the flowers, the way they were done, some of these here, these are very prominent on a bandana, and I did a lot of those. So yeah, I did get the look down. I'm really pleased with it. And like I said, I did look when you do red or black, it is done with the white. So that worked out great. Now I'm really debating on if I want to add the Northern Lights to it or just matte finish this. I am definitely going to clear coat it first because I want it to smooth everything down. So I'm going to let it dry up and then do that. I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like shiny. And I might do a coat of the Northern Lights just because I love a little bit of bling. Even though bandanas don't have bling, I just always like to change it up just a little bit. So I may do the Northern Lights. If I don't, then it's just going to be shiny. I'll show you that and then I'm going to matte finish it and then I will return to show you guys the end product. So I'll be right back after I do a shine coat. Okay, so I just want to show you guys shiny and done with the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights is such a minute and small, you know, fine glitters that I just really like it. I just wanted it to have some sparkle because I am going to matte these and it is going to take some of that sparkle away when they're matted. But I just, I'm a girl that loves bling. I just do. I know I should have probably just left them. But I really like it with that sparkle. And I've seen bandanas with sparkle on them. I have, or, you know, just different look, like different colors and stuff running through it. And I have seen that look. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like shiny before I matte top coat it. And I will show you guys the end product then. 
Hey everyone. So before I show you the end product, I've already done the Northern Lights and the matte finish and everything was getting ready to show you guys the end product. And I just realized something, something wasn't looking right on the red nails. Now, whenever you see a black and white bandana and I'll show you, they're always black and white. So that's what I figured every bandana would be. But nope, I knew something wasn't right. When you get a colored bandana, bam, it has black in it. Because black and white can only have black and white, but a red or a blue or a green, whatever, has black running through it as well. So I'm going to add black into the red ones just so that they stand out a little bit more. I knew something wasn't right. So I'm going to add some black into these with just black acrylic paint that I got right here poured out. And it's just the apple barrel, just the black color. And I'll do that on a few of the nails. And then, of course, I will have to do the high shine coat again just to smooth everything down. And then the matte finish may have to go over with a little bit more Northern Lights. I'm not sure, but I'm going to add in a little bit of black and I will return and show you guys some of them. All right, you can see now that looks way, way better. I don't know, it just wasn't looking right. If you look at this one finger and you look at the one with the black, you see how that does look much more like a bandana. So we're gonna add in black into this one, grab the brush here, very lightly just dip into the black paint, and I'm just gonna pick some spots. On this one, I guess I'm just gonna dot right in the center and make like a black dot in the middle of this flower to add black there. And then what I'm gonna do is right in between these leaves, I'm gonna add a couple more black leaves in between it just to give more black. And then I'm going to do a black triangle right here like that. And then I'm going to dot around here just with some black dots. And then around this one here, take some of this paint off, around this one here, I'm gonna outline this white one like that, and then um, I'm gonna cover in this black triangle, or, or the white one, I'm sorry, and then we're gonna go around here with some black dots. I'm gonna put a little black line through that, and then I'm going to add another triangle or a heart. Let's do a heart here, a heart right there, and let's see, maybe, maybe a little heart right here too maybe like that, and I think just a little more black there. Now you see how that just gave it so much more to the design. I'll show you up against a red one again. There it is, and see how that is so much better. It just definitely needed the red in there. It definitely made a difference. So now I will use the sesh feet, like I've told you before, this one, the dry fast top coat, to smooth everything down, and then I'm gonna use the OPI matte finish. I don't think I need to add Northern Lights. I think this will be okay without it because if I do add the Northern Lights, I think it's gonna be too thick then of Northern Light. I don't want it to be too much. I wanted it to be spotty like, and I think if I add another coat of the Northern Lights, it's really gonna make it too much glitter. So I'm just gonna get these you know, all smoothed down and matte finished and I'll be back to show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done. And I bet you guys are all agreeing that having that black in there with the red really made this one look so much more like a bandana and just a lot better. I love them. Look at them up against the bandanas. Isn't that cool, the red, black, and white? I love it. How exciting to be able to do a nail design. You know, there isn't nothing a person can't do. I've done army. I've done donuts. I've done grapes, I've done stars. I mean, you name it. There isn't anything that I can't recreate in a nail design. I was a little nervous about this one, but it turned out beautiful and adding in the black with the red look, I really love it. I mean, come on, I got bandana nails, you guys. I love them and I think they turned out great. Of course, I can't wait to show you the toe design well, that will match with this as well and also Fashion Friday's outfit of the day. Hope all of you guys enjoyed this look. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.